In today's technical corner, I'm joined by Tevis, and we're going to be talking about a little niche they have in the market, and that is trimming. And we're going to start with optimized toolpaths. So take us away. Hi, Joe. Thanks for having us here today. Um, Tevis utilizes a very simple and concise method of uh, vector manipulation. This allows us to create very accurate toolpaths around a trimming profile very, very quickly and very, very simply. Along with this, it allows us to control the head position of the tool at all times. This is quite critical with an asymmetric type machine, very common in the trimming industry. Um, we're looking for safety, so the asymmetric head not coming into collision with the component is pretty critical. So with the vector manipulation, we can control all the positions of the head at all times, um, ensuring safety whilst we're still getting an efficient uh, um, and accurate toolpath. Mm -hmm. Is this where the toolpath tool path correction comes from? Well, tool, tool path correction is slightly different. Um, we have the facility to import an extra piece of geometry and just add that into the toolpath. So we don't need to modify CAD, uh, any of the CAD data, we don't need to modify any of the geometry or even reprogram the operation. We could just open the operation, add the extra geometry in and Tebis will just take care mm -hmm. of the rest for you. But how does the automation help a, a Tebis trimming user? Automation in trimming um, allows for consistent tool paths in um, step overs and step downs, consistent speeds and feeds. Um, it also allows uh, consistency in the machining process. So if you have more than one programmer, you know that the quality from one programmer is going to be the same as the quality for the mm -hmm. next programmer. And you've mentioned collision avoidance already, but how, you know, how does that influence you know, this, this, this program? Um, Tebis utilizes a virtual machine. This allows us to control the head position on an asymmetric head. This is unique to Tevis. Um, none of our other competitors can do this. Um, the last thing we want is a head collision on a component um, causing damage to either the component, the fixturing, or indeed the machine. Sure, and another big advantage is the fact you can import old programs, historic data. Our reverse post processing procedure allows us to bring in teach and learn programs from a trim, from a trim machine. We can then uh, generate the toolpath that was uh, originally used and also include the original vectors. This allows us to modify the toolpath um, and control the vectors mm -hmm. and maybe tidy up some maybe uh, not great areas in the original program. Mm -hmm. And you guys at, at, at Tebis, you seem to have a big market share. Are you the market leader in the trimming world? I believe we are. Most other, most other CAM providers are using conventional five axis toolpaths. With our trimming solution being directed specifically at the trimming industry, uh, we believe this gives us a big advantage as it, as, it is, as it is designed for the specific application. And it's a bigger market than you, you expect, isn't it, the trim? There's a lot, certainly in the automotive world, in, you know, the, in, in the, uh, what's the word, the, in the molding environment. Absolutely. Um, pan <coughs> making and trim industry in this country is uh, quite large with the amount of uh, automotive industry. Obviously, all the second tier suppliers are providing components for the uh, automotive industry. They're all using trimming of some kind on vac form components. So, and I know Tebis, you've got auto recognition of you know of common shapes as well. So, our general trimming application will be working on open contours so that we can uh, manipulate vectors. Tebis also employs a process where we recognise geometric shapes. This will then automatically create vectors. We can also adjust position, um, orientation, and sizes and geometry of a specific shape. This is good when you have large panels with screw holes in maybe, screw holes in the wrong position, screw hole needs to be a little bit bigger, or a slot for a, a secondary component to fit into. We can adjust these within the programming process, again, without having to adjust CAD data or geometry on the screen. And some of these materials, have been, they can be quite abrasive. So how do you maintain your consistent wear on the cutting tool? So along with um, our vector manipulation, we're also able to drive the tool up and down its axes along a profile. This then spreads the uh, cutting load up and down the flute rather than localizing the wear into a small area, then get more consistent cutting wear up and down the flute of the tool, longer tool life. So just to conclude, to wrap up, you know, the engineers watching, why should they use your trimming? Trimming in Tebis, is simple, accurate, and safe. Uh, we can guarantee tool paths and safety all the way through the process. Simple as that. Simple thank as that. you. And thank you for watching.